think that if you don't think, but we have a lot of critical thinking about uh, comfortability we have. We have a lot of critical thinking about comfortability. For example, uh, uh, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, 28th and 29th, we have a uh, you know, festival we have. So we start thinking, why can't you know, school send us a little early on 28th? Then uh, we can maybe go somewhere else. You know, some kind of thought comes to your mind. Then this also we think, suppose we could have got on Monday also holiday. Then we get three days holiday. We can be with the family. A kind of different thought comes to your mind. Such as it can come to different aspects of life. When we put this a critical thinking in the positive way, there comes, you know, a smart learning. Smart learning. In short, I'll be discussing in this workshop this aspect regarding how can we have critical thinking for smart learning, especially in the classroom based learning. And what is the role of teacher and what is the role of students in order to have better critical thinking and through which we can instill and provoke or we can bring up life skill in our lives itself. So when we look into this, see here one side critical thinking, another side smart learning. It is not that a hard, suppose somebody asks, do you study and students reply, ma'am, sir, I work hard. I work hard. I learn a lot. I spend a lot of time for studies. I spend, I don't even sometimes sleep. No matter whether we work hard, no matter we spend a lot of time, no matter we do a kind of uh, different effort, we have to verify that whether the learning portion, the spending time, whether it has been used for in a smart way or not. We have whether we are used in a smart way or not. If we are used in a smart way, that will be useful. Then that will be useful. Hard times come to your life. Today, yesterday was unhappy. Lot of problems. Today also I have problems. Tomorrow also I, I will face problems. But day after tomorrow, it will be happy. Yesterday I was having problems and challenges. Today I, I am having challenges and problems. Tomorrow also I will have problems and challenges. But may be sure day after tomorrow, our life will be happy without problems and challenges, maybe, and surely. But most of the people get disappointed today and many of the people die by tomorrow. And we don't remind, don't remind for day after tomorrow's happiness. We get disappointed. We get disappointed from different angles of life. There we need to think differently. How can I overcome this? How can I have a better teaching practice in the class? How can I motivate students to have a smart learning in the class? Critical thinking is that to think differently, not in a negative way, something positive aspect is found and to in order to pull down the positive aspect, sometimes we can have a critical thinking on that, that have negative impacts. Instead of that, we should have a critical thing for a positive approach, which should lead to a smart learning. How does critical, critical thinking help us in learning? It's a, a question that comes to your life. Suppose we are thinking about how, how does it help? Critical thinking fosters allied life skills such as organizational skills. Please listen to this. First one is organizational skill, planning, open mindedness, communication skill, among others. Suppose I should have a critical thinking, uh, now learning aspect, I should have. This fosters, what is that? Organizational skill. If I am a part and parcel of organization. And I should not be there to pull back the organization, but I should be the factor for Pushing it ahead. When a vehicle is going ahead and if you are sitting inside, there may be somebody 
who is giving up force from behind. Don't be against them, be the part of them. I'm planning. When I go to the class, I should have a plan. What should I teach? What should I teach? Even though there can be some remarks, negative remarks about my teaching, there can be a negative approach regarding my attitude. There can be something a different approaches towards my teaching methodology. I should have open mindedness. I should have this much in the heart. It can be. Take it as positive. Take it as positive and reflect to oneself. And I should have open mindedness in order to become the better and the better than the previous time. And when I communicate something in the class, when I communicate something in the class, others should understand my voice, my language, my you know, idea, clarity in the idea that should reflect, that should reflect to, every, to everybody. That, you know, will help others to think. Being a life skill by itself. Critical thinking enables you to take on challenges in the personal and professional world with easy. If I have a critical thinking, as I said just before, critical thinking should not have that thought of negative. I am using here critical thinking always for a positive approach. For a positive approach. Instead of having a negative approach towards my challenges. Instead of having a negative approach towards uh, you know, my challenges. Therefore, I said yesterday it was, uh, you know, I, wa I was having problems. Today I am having problem. Tomorrow I will have problem. Be sure day after tomorrow my problems will be solved. The problem that I am facing today and tomorrow that will be solved by day after tomorrow. Don't be disappointed. Take it as challenge. As I, uh, I think I like to uh, you know just put in your mind one one thought that problems are problems unless we think it is a problem. Problems are problems unless we think it is a problem. If I think it is my challenge in my life, if I think I have to mold my life, this is going to be the part and parcel of molding my life. If a pencil thinks, no one should sharpen me. If a pencil thinks, no one should sharpen me. No one should give me uh, you know, pain. Do you think anyone would use pencil? No. The life of pencil would stop then and there. It will stop there. Pencil is allowing itself and giving freedom to us. You sharp. Make, it, make me sharp. How much you want to be, want to make sharp, we make it. You are free to make me sharp. We make it and we use it. There comes a use of his life. The purpose of the uh, purpose of pencil has been fulfilled. Else it won't be. Else it won't be. So I have to make sure. Don't make think these are problems. Don't think these are problems. These are challenges which is going to be a turning point in my life. This is called a different thought. This is called a different aspect, different thought that has to come to my life. One of the poems uh, written by Robert Faust, the last lines, it is said, the poem's name is Rot Not Taken. The last two lines, he gives a message. It made, it made all difference in my life it made all difference in my life means the way everybody walk in that way i haven't walked i walk in a different way that attitude the way i walk that made difference in my life that made difference in my life if i am able to walk different way it is said you know even though there are many animals in forest Many animals are there in the forest, but lion is a king. Why? One among the examples, I like to say, when lions start walking in the forest, it is said, it seems, lion smells. First lion smells and tries to find out whether someone has walked before in this way or not. 
whether someone has walked in this way or not. And if anybody or any animals have walked in the way, lion never walks in that way. Lion walks in different way in which no animals have walked before. No animals have walked before. Lion makes its own way himself. Therefore, lion is considered as the leader, king of forest, king of forest, a different thought. What do we think? Sometimes what do we think in the comfortable zone of learning? For example, uh, 6A, B, C, D, four sections can maybe in the school. Okay, maybe four sections. I am teaching 6A and B. And I know another teacher is teaching in 6B, uh, C and D. I go to the teacher and ask, can you give me your note? Can you give me your note? We do it or not? Right? So we, we you know, the comfortable zone, we try to find it out. Comfortable zone. We try to get some other teacher's note. We try to get someone else uh, items or things. And we, we make our comfortable. We make our comfortable. For example, I, I need a uh, water, bottle of water. And when I sit in the staff room, one teacher is going to collect uh, water. I'll say, uh, please collect for me also. Okay, helping others is good. Uh, kind of help, asking help also. Sometimes it is good. But come out of comfortable zone. The moment I come out of comfortable zone, I start thinking, how can I have a comfortable zone? No, with the different aspects. I start thinking. I start thinking in a different way, in a you know, different thoughts, in a critical way, I start thinking. Critical thinking comes to my mind. Rather than a normal thought. If I if I also think in the same way, there won't be much use. So in order to have a better smart learning, we need to think critically. And how can we think critically in 21st century? Critical thinking refers to a form of mental discipline in which a person can conceptualize, analyze, and reflect upon various input and other information and then apply it in a constructive fashion. Constructive way or creative way we can put it. I am thinking, I am reflecting, I am planning myself, I am having my concept on which concept I have to go ahead and uh, you know collecting all information, everything. Exactly 100% I am having the information and I practiced it, experienced, exper experimented, everything I have done and I am going to put it, you know, I am going to apply it. I am going to apply it. In what way? In a constructive way or in a creative way we can put it. The moment we put it in a constructive way or creative way, others are attracted. Where beauty and handsome lies, others are attracted. Simple. Where lot of sweetness is there, others are attracted. Where lot of colors are there, others are attracted. Where lot of you know, creativity is there, others are attracted. Where different kind of constructive fashions we find, others are attracted. The market is of, you know, not of normal things. You see the dress code or dress pattern or you see the social media or the media, visual medias or even the print medias. We don't like the things going the same way today, yesterday, today, tomorrow and the coming days. We want something different. We want something different. How do we project ourselves? How do we project ourselves? In a normal way I project or in a different way I have project? If I have to project in different way, I should think differently. Critically, I should think. Critically, I should think. Every day I think the same way. But I will think in a critical way. There comes the importance of mind. What is the aim of critical thinking? Critical thinking is aimed at achieving the best possible outcomes in any situation. It is not in a normal situation. All are happy. For example, uh, some of the schools uh, do, you know, uh, maybe three sections are there. Best students, 
uh, average students and the below average students. They put into three classes and they teach. Or some of us we think, okay, uh, students got 99 percentage. Students got, you know, one child got 99 percentage. No matter one child got 100, even 100 percentage. Am I able to bring every child of my school in at least above 80 percentage? Then I am success. Then I am success. Am I able to bring a child who is not a blooming child, below average? Am I able to bring the, you know, below average child into above average or at least to average? Then I am success. That is called, you know, outcome in any situation. Sometimes teachers blame, sir, no good children are in the class. There are no good children found in the class. How can I teach? How can I teach? No, that's not. So this outcome, in any situation, the best possible outcome, in order to achieve this, it must involve gathering and evaluating information from as many different sources possible. What are the sources possible by us? It can be the reference book, it can be the library, it can be any one of the uh, access, accessible items that I can get it. Even I should understand the psychological, social, mental aspects of every child. Every child, if I am not able to understand social aspects of child, I may not be able to give a, you know, a good teaching in the class. I have to think. This also I have to think. When I go to the class, how many students are to the level or below the level? Accordingly, I have to prepare the lesson plan. Accordingly, I have to think myself. Accordingly, I have to you know, have communication. Then, as I uh, said in the first sentence, the proper outcome will be getting in any circumstances. See here, it involves, when we talk about critical thinking for students, it involves the ability to reflect an idea or problem, apply, reason, and make logical connections between ideas. There are many ideas. I am the leader of the class. As a teacher, I am the leader. I am the leader. When a leader enters to the class, the leader should have this quality to connect the ideas. There are 40 children who are sitting in the class. When 40 children, they sit in the class, I should be able to coordinate, connect and interlink those ideas into one game, one purpose and one theme. Put all ideas. And as a leader, I should not reject i should not avoid anybody's ideas connect when a child tells something to us or something to something to the class i should not say it is wrong i should say it is right and give the reflection of right attitude children will come come up so life skill websites skills you need points out that Critical thinking is about, be sure of, is about being an active learner, learner rather than passive recipient of information. For example, uh, I am taking a session and others, uh, you know, there are many online uh, sessions uh, held. In those online sessions, I am a passive recipient or an active learner, I'll have, we will have to reflect upon. We have to reflect upon. And when I go to the class, there also we see around the 50% of students may be of active learner and the rest of 50% can be passive recipient of information. They may not be learning themselves. They are just gathering information in the mind. May not be into the heart. If it goes to the heart, it lays. And just they just listen, something as information, and they just leave it up. So my my point is that when I am going to the class, 
whether am i making the student as an active learner through my critical thinking and the critical way of making the lesson plan am am i making it in a critical way of presentation or every day i am taking opening the textbook blah 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 just i read in the class and come out right so i should think critically for example yesterday i went to the class and out of 40 10 students were not listening in my class some were passing papers some of them were you know uh, maybe chatting uh, you know talking each other some students may be looking somewhere else so i should think critically what are things can be done in order to get an active participation from those children who were not active yesterday understand maybe sometimes the good students the so called good students of academics they may not listen to our class you know what why we keep on explain the same topic again and again and again and the good children the academically good children they what they get boring and sometimes we slow, gradually we teach and you know very slowly we teach slowly we teach and students get feel sleepy they sit and sleep so we have a challenge what is a challenge three mainly three kinds of children above average average and below average children we have to carry and do. we have to carry and do. we are not able to carry and they will run away from us so this is very important active learner than you know passive recipient of information so we see here four c's of learning <laughs> what are four c's of learning one is critical thinking one is critical thinking second creative thinking communicating and collaborative learning <laughs> these are the four c's of learning i repeat one critical thinking i should think critically i should have a creative thought not a normal thought i should have creative thought and that creativity gives identity for me if i do not have creativity that will not give me an identity i will be counted as as one among others in the school then gandhi ji subhash chandra bose nelson mandela abdul kalam they have not have been in the society they not have remind, remind nobody would have remembered them they followed this method <laughs> sorry they follow this method for example i take the freedom fighters of our country <laughs> i take the example of freedom fighters of our country what is the difference when everybody thought i am nothing in front of britishers i am born to suffer i am born to be slave some people thought themselves i am born to be free i am born to be different i am born to give freedom to my children this thought made them to get out of their house without sleep they came out of their comfortable zone they fought against the a big empire and they stood in front what are the sacrifice they had to do what are the challenges they had to face they did not turn back they forwarded ahead and ahead and so india got freedom and so india got freedom now not only india entire world if we calculate entire world is not having proper freedom we are under ignorance we are under darkness the proper knowledge it has not come to the society it has not come to the society therefore it is our responsibility as a teacher at that time some people 
they came out of their comfortable zone and they sacrificed for us now as a teachers it is my responsibility my obligation the aim of my life in order to come out of the comfortable zone and put into the mind of students a smart learning in order to be out of the darkness of ignorance in order to be out of that you know dark life and bring rather than a literate stage bring a, bring a educated stage we don't want a literate stage india may count these 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 states are the literacy high rate states we don't want a high literate stage we want a high educated stage highly educated state because there's a difference between literacy and education literacy just mere reading and writing knowledge of reading and writing education a formation discipline of behavior in the entire aspects are covered so we are looking for a state of education so in order to have a smart learning we need to put into the minds of the coming children this you think crit critically because i am thinking critically i am creative you be also creative how do i communicate learn from me and communicate be collaborating don't be away from don't be away from if i need to carry more water my hands have to be together without the gap should not be separate the amount of water i carry in two hands more than that i can carry together right the power of togetherness collaboration these skills help students learn and so they are vital to success in school and beyond the things what students learn to have a smart life out of school to lead a smart life tomorrow to get a smart outcome tomorrow that is the purpose so no matter these children these these children got 100 out of 100 marks in the examination no matter it does not have much value it does not have much value how many of you have googled how many of you have googled what is the mark of gandhi ji in metric please put in the chat box have you ever googled have you ever googled what is the mark of gandhi ji in metric examination or inter examination or what is the mark he scored in his uh, llb did anybody look into whether gandhi ji got you know uh, first class mark or distinction in his metric i don't think so i don't think so does not mean mark is not necessary mark shows how much i prepared and how much i am you know uh, i am having knowledge okay so uh, it is not necessary it is not necessary to you know target on mark but it is necessary how much knowledge i acquire ha ah, this calculation is normally done by an examination i do accept it but what i would like to convey give awareness to students how many of you are able to lead a good life beyond the school after learning this chapters define critical learning in the in incidents are learning situations which learners have experienced as effective one effective exceptional personally meaningful one it should be effective and exceptional and personally personally meaningful it gives meaning critical learning incidents may lead educationally significant learning and personal growth not only a group of you know when a group of learning takes place okay the one who contributes more learns more the one who contributes less learns less so i have to insist to students in a in a classroom when i am sitting to learn and if you like to have a smart learning you think critically for example my teacher is teaching 
uh, H2O is a water, then I should think, you know, critically, something should reflect in my mind. Something should reflect in the mind. For example, petrol is made up of petroleum. Then I should think, why can't I make petrol from something else? This critical thinking has made the people, you know, excellent scientists. They made this world into, you know, led to do creativity. For example, the bulb, filament. There's a filament in the bulb. The filament in the bulb was not the same today. It was not the same. Previously, it was uh, something else. What used to happen? It used to break. They burn. It uh, burns for half an hour, one hour. It, it gets off. It burns. Then they thought which material, metal can long last. And again, it has come, you know, now with the gas, it burns. Right? There's no filament in it. Right? So, changes takes place. Because of this critical thinking, a positive thinking. When I think I will have to be smart enough in the class while I teach, then I also surely will start thinking you know, in a different way. Encouraging students to think critically means encouraging them to question everything. You give one blank paper. Okay, you just, uh, you know, put a put blank paper and ask the students to much a, a homework for tomorrow. For every teacher who is listening to homework for tomorrow. First period, go to the class, ask them to open the copy, any of the copies, or even your subject copy. Ask them to write five answers, whatever they have learned. Many of the students will complete fast. Many of the students. And the second question you ask, write five questions you learn. Write five questions you learn. Students will start asking, what ma'am, what sir? Questions. How can we write questions? That is what. We train the students to answer. We don't train the students to prepare questions themselves. I would say, there should be an examination giving 50 answers and ask them to prepare 50 questions. Yes, that's supposed to be. Then the students will have an attitude of asking questions. It is said, it is said the people of Greece, the people of Greece, they get up in the morning and they think, why sun did not rise at five o'clock. Why blackboard is known as blackboard? Why this is white? Why this is black? They ask why, why, why? Lot of questions. And the most of the philosophers are from that thing. We see, you know, uh, different, different, so many Plato, Aristotle, uh, many philosophers we see, all great philosophers ask. Uh, encourage students to ask questions. And some of the teachers we feel you know, uh, irritation towards the children when they ask questions. Hey, sit. Syllabus will not complete. Sit, sit down, sit down. Let me complete the syllabus. No. Give time to the students. Give time to the students to ask questions. It's very much necessary. Ask them. If you ask students questions as such, why did you write that? What makes you say that? How do you prove it? Prove it. You encourage them to think critically. Why? What? Where? How? Ask them. Asking questions helps students to become better thinkers. We don't ask questions. What we ask, all of you understood or not? Have you understood? And students say, yes, ma'am, we understood. Yes, sir, we understood. Finished. You ask, what do you understood? Ask what do you understood. They'll keep quiet. Just to see in the class. When a teacher asks in the class, have you understood? Yes, sir, I understood. Yes, sir, I understood. Ask what do you understood? Pin drop silence. Pin drop silence. Ask. Not the common and, uh, you know, 
uh, easy replying questions should not be asked. Should not ask any easy replying questions. Reading is not studying. Simply reading and rereading texts are not is not an actively engaging the materials. So you know, suppose we have a, want a better learning, smart learning. These are the eight points should be followed. Not simply engage them to read. Understand the study cycle. What is the study cycle? Spacing out good. It is good to be intense. Silence is not golden. Suppose when the teachers ask something, students are mum, don't speak. That is not gold. Problems are your friends. Reconsider multitasking. Switch up your settings. My set settings should be uh, you know switched up. Read the class notes. Read the textbooks. A smart study. Suppose we have to have a smart study in the classroom. Just seven steps. Read the class notes. Read the textbook. Watch a Khan. It's a, a simply I just mentioned, you know, uh, in a fascinating way. I have mentioned. Look up other online resources if needed. Teach someone what you have learned. Do practice problems on variety sources. Suppose we get a smart study time for, you know, uh, five minutes. Five minutes, if suppose we get a, uh, you know, uh, smart study way, it is very easy. Take five minutes. Just, you know, calm and quickly ask the students to wait. Even according to the timing, suppose uh, 30 minutes period or uh, 35 minutes period, 40 minutes period, 45 minutes period, accordingly. You can, you know, divide the time. That is five minutes, you know. Take a break, just a small break. Just relax yourself. I'm going to. Between 25 to 30 minutes, period is starting. Create a study space within your dorm, home, or residence. You can train yourself to study. Take time to discover the meaning behind the concepts. Meaning behind the concept, not by heart. It is not a by heart. And I should, you know, make a space. I should make a space. When I make a space, for example, some students that disturb the class. Some students, you know, they disturb the class. Why do they disturb the class? They are not feeling any interest. They are fe fe feeling everything is same. A person who like to eat pizza every day, every day three times. The person is getting pizza, 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 pizza. Do you think after one week the person will uh, eat pizza? No. The person will try to run away from pizza. The moment uh, pizza will be brought in front of, he will close the eyes and will run away from pizza. Not possible. Not possible. Why? Because no matter, you know, different things are liked by everybody. Everybody needs different, different things, not the same things. If I have today something, I want some tomorrow something else. Maybe today uh, uh, Puri Sabji, then tomorrow I want Alu Paratha. Day after tomorrow I want maybe Dosa, then I may be Italy, then I may be something else, or maybe Chapati, right? So something different they need. So I have to make some space for them where they get something different and creative things. When I make something smart, then I will be able to execute something smart. So like, you know, for uh, any exams or even small tests conducted in your schools or colleges, you need to plan properly to succeed to outshine your students. But it's not about just planning. You need to execute those plans properly or else planning will be an utmost waste. If I'm not going with the proper plan, I don't think it will be highly effective in the life of students it will not be highly effective so you suppose we are dealing with you know smart classrooms then that smart classroom or smart learning should give smart or best students if i'm having the smart classroom smart learning but i'm not getting the best student back then what's the use of it so set a goal adopt and stick to study schedule Stay well restricted. Take advantage of you know uh, educational resources. 
healthy study techniques for proper exam preparation develop not taking skills extra curricular activities study buddies and for example when we go to the class how many of us say open your textbook and keep a pencil with you maybe many of us may be saying please keep on carrying on just tell the students when you sit in the class keep open the textbook underline the points write the class notes short notes that will help you that will help you so as the saying goes as the going say uh, goes you know better to remain silent and that be thought of fool than to speak out remove all doubts just i am quiet so does not mean you know i am doing the great charity no silence is not a great charity speak out ask keep on asking no the door will be open yes we will remain in the world of ignorance we will remain in the world of doubts we will remain in the world of lot of fears our things will not be explained in a better way that's what is you know, research resources say research resources say that if you speak out your doubts will be removed if you want to be as reasonably smart keep your mouth shut talk less and when you do talk what you say will be valued that much more it's no matter simply what all comes you ask think critically there comes the quality in it there comes a quality in it just you know just something comes to mouth simply ask that is good for motivation suppose a child is not speaking at all in the class provoke the child motivate the child you speak whatever you want it's okay the child who is smart enough to ask something ask him to think critically and ask him to put something you know very fascinating way a fashionable way use simple technology stop thinking the use of big words will make you appear smart sometimes some of us some of us may think And let me prepare some tough vocabularies and prepare and do. It will make doubts in the mind of students. They will not understand what are the concepts that I have to exp explain. Do not understand. Don't over -art articulate. Connect the words within phrase together. Relax. Breathe. Being relaxed always improves your performance. Use a varied annotation pattern. And again we are insisting ask questions encourage decision making work in progress incorporate different points of view connect different ideas inspire creativity brainstorm and suppose we think about creativity we have to say lot of things about creativity lot of things i should understand the value within i should understand the value within i should understand the creativity everybody has been created for to create something creatively every i repeat everybody has been created to create something creatively if i am not making something creatively my creative life has been pulled out not to use that all not not to use that all therefore i am created very creatively and i am having opportunities to create something creatively if i am not making something creatively the creativity is supposed to take place tomorrow that dies today itself that dies today itself so always view new information with uh, curious uh, eyes look at where the information has come from consider more than one one of views practice active listening gather additional information where needed ask lots of open ended questions and suppose improve our critical thinking suppose i think let me improve my critical thinking let me improve my children's critical thinking then to become more self aware what do i spoke what did i speak what do i spoke what i will speak understand your mental process when i am slow i can think fast develop four sides 
first thought four sides practice active listening it's not simply i'm gathering the you know information and active listening what is right and what is wrong can be analyzed only through active listening ask questions evaluate existing evidence meeting with a mentor participating in team building exercise strong teachers think critically they practice the thinking art of analyzing and evaluating as they consider both day to day activities to long term teaching and learning goals it's not that today i am there tomorrow let it be what is this one one year the children will be with me next year they will go to somewhere else it's okay no no i should have goal one of the online workshops previously i was giving a challenge to teachers the same challenge i like to give to you all when a father mother when a boy and girl man or woman male or female when they get a child on their own blood of their love when they get a child every parent think father and mother think i have to make this child doctor engineer ca lawyer this that ips ias lot of things i think about yes or no everybody will be agreeing with me every parent every parent will be making a big chart this 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 and at last my child has to become this the challenge is secondary i am going to give a challenge to you how many of us how many of us made a list or planning for my children in the school i am a class teacher of fifth class when i am going to fifth class i have got 40 children how many of us made a chart roll number 1 sudanshu will become this call number 2 swadi will become this roll number 3 priyanshi will become this roll number 4 sudhagar will become this did i make 40 children planning no i do not have what i have only one target not a smart target i have but a smart learning pattern i have but a smart teaching pattern only one thought i have how can i complete my syllabus in time how when the school bell will ring when the period will finish this is what a general to particular just a kept i am not saying all of us are thinking there can be a kind of thought like this yes you know this is what you know goal oriented goal oriented they evaluate what they have determine what they will need and decide how and when to access students progress i repeat they evaluate what they have determine what they will need and decide how and when to access student progress and formulate your question know what you are looking for specially gather your information now that you have know what is relevant to your problem or decision research it apply the information what concepts are at work consider the implications explore other points of view and this the skills that we need to need in order to be able to think critically are varied and include observation analysis interpretation reflection evaluation inference explanation problem solving and decision making these attributes leads us to uh, you know critical thinking and the classroom when we talk, think about build an opportunity build in opportunities for students to find connections in learning i am teaching one topic and jumping into another topic i should explain what is the connection between the first topic and second topic and the students should be correlated with the same use analogs promote interaction among students ask open ended questions it is not that i am asking questions students are replying no ask give them opportunity let them come up allow reflection time i taught a topic 10 15 minutes ask them to close their eyes or ask them to look into the textbook let them reflect upon use real problems sometimes we say it happened in utopia it happened in america okay 
in a world wide examples we can take take this also what happened in my society yesterday in, in my neighbor's house in my society in which i stay in which the society students stay what happened allow for thinking practice again it is coming when we think about you know ask questions participate in discussion practice active learning study with the help of examples i said it's examples go beyond academic learning go beyond academic learning normally what we concentrate we concentrate on textbook informations if i pass my textbook information my responsibility or duty is complete no go beyond it critical thinking is at the core of learning because it allows students to reflect and comprehend their perspective based on personal reflection and understanding this skill assists a student in determining determining how to understand the world around them world around them can be in global world around them can be the classroom world around them can be the school campus the family situation family surroundings the society or any worldwide can be in other words we can say good critical thinkers know how to analyze evaluate information breaking it down to separate fact from opinion after a thorough analysis sub analysis they feel confident forming their own opinion on a subject it's a matter of practice it's a matter of practice so when i uh, instruct the students to think critically they automatically fall into the basket of smart learning they will have curiosity because curiosity is the key to knowledge curiosity is the key to knowledge so critical thinking helps us to think critically differently and it makes curiosity within us through which we can have the smart learning be employing critically thinking individuals can evaluate informations and other things you know easily we can think about and relevance of data and evidence i'll start collecting i'll start collecting if i have to say something about somebody if i have to say something about something first i should learn about by closing eyes i cannot say i have to study and he said you know armchair policy is not good i am sitting on the chair i am guessing something and that will take place no even for us you know uh, things we say don't look at one tv channel news and don't take decision don't read one uh, newspaper and don't think the uh, reality if you want to know the reality read three four newspapers watch three four news channels i'll get the reality of it so you need to you know think accordingly and you know a consciousness should come in, inside me that what do i think what do i should not think so the thought comes in my mind are right or wrong see here planning determine determining learning objectives teaching through questioning practicing before assessing reviewing refining and improving providing feedback and assessment for learning a lesson plan should reflect these five things when i make a lesson plan for a uh, critical thinking in order to have a smart learning i should have these things these five things in my lesson plan so these uh, things easily help us these things easily help us to understand what i should do as i said last last slide how should i prepare a, the best lesson plan in order to have a critical thinking to have a smart learning if i am having a smart learning my children will be smart learner if my children will be smart learners they will have the uh, you know smart thoughts when the children will have smart thoughts my new generation tomorrow will be the smartest one i know to think about the smart society smart society it itself creates because of my a small initiative a smart learning there's a connection so uh, i wish everybody the best that first we should have critical thinking and we should have smart learning and in order to hear the thoughts about critical thinking and smart learning or a good number of teachers being part of this workshop i thank each and every teacher those who have been listening to my reflection on uh, this point 
I thank everybody and I thank the uh, president of Aryavarta Sahodaya, the mentor of Aryavarta Sahodaya, Sivi Singh sir, and uh, Himanshu sir, an active uh, person, and all executives of the Sahodaya. Thank you. Thank you. Participants have been uh, given the feedback link. Uh, first to finish the attendance in class by 5 p.m. And thank you so much, Shivu sir, once again. It was again a very, very safe uh, learning session for all of us. And thank you for agreeing to conduct a session uh, on such a short notice. So thank you very much. Thank you all the participants.